here. So today I'm going to show you how to connect your Revit model with an LLM. In the past, we created a series of tutorials uh, that show you how to create your own chatbot that were uh, able to talk directly with Revit and even run some code. So uh, we find that there is a new team in town that is called Revit MCB. They created a simple way to install an MCB server, which is a service that allows you to connect with LLM. MCB stands for Model Context Protocol. It connects any software or data with an LLM or agent. So using this, uh, it comes with three parts. It comes with the plugin, the server, and then you have the comments that you want to run with the plugin. Those three allow any LLM with an API and get an MCP capabilities to connect with your Revit model. Let me show you how it works. So first you open Revit. You have to compile the MCP plugin and switch it on in order to connect with your LLM. I'm going to use Claw because why not? It's connected directly and I can do queries directly on the chat that are going to be talking with the mob. So just saying I, why not? Not be polite. Um, so hi, um, can you lift all the walls in my model? Notice that I'm not saying, Hey, I have a um, rabbit model open. Uh, anything. I'm not giving the LLM any context. As the RCP is already, the MCP is already connected. I don't have to do every, everything to declare exactly what I want. It will understand by context. So it's saying here that it's showing me a list of the types available in the model that I have open. I have basic walls, curtain walls. I have, uh, more details. Uh, it has a uh, 50, uh, walls. It may have more. It's limited to the results they're going to show the levels, the heights, the thickness. It's really cool to query data. I can talk directly with it. But not only that, I can use this chatbot to run code and or to run selections or to create new elements. So let's just just do that. So I'm gonna ask the model to create a new mod, a new wall in the mod. And I'm gonna get information about the type, the height, and I'm just gonna leave that out for the LLM to configure. So it's first getting all the types available and it's creating a line based element. You can see that here I have some <clears throat> messages that I need to translate, but that's it. It says here that it created a basic wall with a three meter long Live and it's just let just do this. I'm gonna isolate. I'm gonna try to find the wall. See if I can see anything outstanding. So basically, not seeing anything. I'm gonna ask the model to highlight the wall. Bent stairs. And you are not. A little bit of typing, but nothing that I LLM can't handle. Okay. Oh, there it is. Thank you. So you can see, yeah, that, that wall over here is clearly not part of the original design. And the LLM did a, a zoom in and highlighted in red for me to detect it. So that's perfect. So this opens a plethora of new opportunities to connect your model and uh, to extract information. One caveat, I don't think that a text-based conversation with the model is the best way to model something to Revit or maybe to extract information. But if we can connect this MCP server with an agent, we can extract information, information that we don't have to keep contact or we don't have to create a schema of the information. We can just pull that information out and then transform as we want. So that's the real power of this implementation. Okay, I hope you like it. Uh, let me know if you plan to use it or if you have any ideas of cool projects to, to run with this.